Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivas. I am the Carb Addiction Doc, and I love understanding human biology. And there, there's something, there's this like this huge gap. Even in the smartest minds, in the smartest scientific minds in the keto space, there's this huge box, this huge gap that we really haven't looked at. And I was writing a book chapter a while ago, and, and I was talking about the subject, and we really, let's explore in this video, let's explore what fuel the human body, the cells of the human body use on a daily basis. I know it sounds simple. Let's get rid of the simple ones right away, okay? But these are actually the minor ones. So first and foremost, sugar, glucose. Every cell in the human body has the ability to use glucose. A few cells like red blood cells and Schwann cells that support nerves are glucose obligatory. And in fact, a lot of cancer cells are glucose obligatory. They can only use sugar. And that's one of the reasons why a high carbohydrate diet can be so dangerous. So sugar is one component. Uh, there's plenty of videos on this site uh, discussing the toxicity and the danger of sugar. I don't want to go there, okay? And that's through insulin. The second thing that everyone in the keto space, because well, keto is this word, talks about is ketones, ketone bodies. Well, ketone bodies, there are three of them, but the most important one is something called beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is kind of the short little segment, two-carbon segment of fat. And it is an energy transport molecule in the form of fat. So it can go into most cells. Most cells have the capacity to do two things with ketones. They can either go through beta oxidation to convert the ketones into this high source of energy, which allows the cell to function, is the gasoline for the cell. And they can also use ketones. Most cells can do this to build, to attach ketone to ketone to ketone, almost like um, attaching pearls to a necklace and developing longer chain fat, which is then used structurally as phospholipids, is used in the membranes of cells, is used for attachment to different proteins, can be used structurally in um, the cell. So ketones are a very, very valuable transport molecule around the body for energy as well as Think of it as bricks to build a house. And the most important place where that is functional is in the brain because the blood-brain barrier prevents really long-chain fatty acids, which are necessary for uh, brain cell repair, for rebuilding, remodeling brain cells, uh, from crossing at an adequate volume. But if the, if the uh, fat very rapidly goes across that blood-brain barrier's ketones, the brain can, can then use those ketones to build... Uh, um, and replenish and restore and revitalize itself. Now, um, so ketones are a very important fuel source. But a very interesting paper, as I was looking at energy source for the human body, uh, this bizarre thing came about. And I didn't quite understand this because glucose primarily comes from your mouth and from the liver. Ketones come from the liver. But what about fat cells, folks? And a paper came out, Eric Westerman, a buddy of mine, uh, who's written some great work, who's done some great work, uh, brought my attention to this paper. When you look at the heart, and the heart is a, a muscle that functions from the minute it starts to beat till the minute you start to, till the minute you die. The heart is beating continuously. The heart does not store any energy. So it has to get all its energy from the bloodstream. And when we analyzed what fuel source, what energy sources the heart uses, yeah, it uses a little bit of glucose, maybe anywhere from 10 to 15 percent, uh, about 10 percent of the fuel that the heart uses is sugar. Depending on whether you're in glycosis or ketosis, it can use a certain amount of ketones, again, 10 to 15 percent, which falls into that same variance with sugar. It's either using high sugar or high ketones. It uses a little bit, 1 to 2 percent of lactate, which is an energy byproduct, lactate uh, as a fuel source. But what about the other 80-85% of energy? Uh, I can't think, what, 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 uh, because I, I don't know. Something called NEFA, N-E-F-A. What the hell is NEFA? NEFA is non-esterified fatty acids. It's fat that travels free in the bloodstream, primarily released by the fat cells which nobody even talks about. And yet it is by far the dominant fuel source, not only for the heart, but for all the cells in the human body, except maybe 
the brain, although in the brain it's also important, that's where ketones and glucose are a little bit more important because of the blood-brain barrier, but all cells primarily use non-esterified fatty acids, little chains of fat that travel free in the bloodstream, attached to globulin, attached to albumin, that travel to the liver, and they get released continuously under the influence of the absence of insulin by the fat cells. And they run at a 0.8 to a 1 molar concentration in the blood, and without NIFA, we will all die. And nobody even talks about it. Nobody even talks about it. And that's the problem, folks, is that these non-esterified fatty acids, fatty acids, get distributed globally in the body and in certain organs by the fat cells in an organ-specific way, and they are the bread and butter primary fuel source of the human body. And everyone's talking about ketones and everyone's talking about glucose. Those are the minor players. Yes, those levels are critically important because the balance between ketosis and glycosis determines a whole host of diseases. But the non-esterified fatty acids are crucial. They're the fundamental uh, uh, fuel source for the entire human body and nobody talks about them. Well, where do they come from? NIFA come really from three places. Primarily, they are released by the fat cells in the uh, when insulin levels are low. Think about that. Because when insulin levels are high, you're actually doing lipogenesis. You're actually making fat. You're turning sugar into fat, and you're not releasing fat. Lipoprotein lipase, which is the enzyme that breaks fat down, is insulin sensitive. It is blocked by insulin because you want those fat cells to turn sugar into fat. You want your liver to turn sugar into fat. So insulin blocks that. And therefore, hyperinsulinemia all the time is a concern because it blocks the release of those fatty acids. The other place that the fatty acids come from is from the liver. And they get released in the form of triglycerides, which go around the body. But they also, the liver also re releases, we don't know exactly how much, but a certain amount of free fatty acids into the bloodstream. And then the other place that those free fatty acids come from is when the transport molecules in the body, the VLDL and LDL, dock with certain cells, when they're delivering fat to the fat cells or fat to the liver, they spill some of that fatty acid into the bloodstream, and therefore your lipoproteins, your lipids in the blood, these lipid molecules, are essential. But everybody's on a statin. Everybody's on a statin killing those transport molecules. So now you're not transporting triglycerides, you're not releasing NIFA, you're, you're hyperinsulinemic because eating fat is so bad for you. How the hell do your cells get healthy fuel? If 80 to 85% of a healthy heart functions on fatty, free fatty acids in the bloodstream as its energy source, now if that ratio goes way down, now you have to use sugar and under high sugar conditions, you can't even produce ketones. That's where fatigue comes from, folks. That's where inflammation comes from. Aberrant use of energy in the human body. And it's the thing that nobody's talking about. We're talking about glucose, we're talking about ketones, we're not talking about free fatty acids. Fat in your diet, fat from your fat cells, is critically, critically important to healthy human function. This guy, this guy. Think about it, folks. If you want to be healthy and live long, allow your body to release fatty acids on a regular basis by eating them, not sugar. Let's talk more about this because it is a, a topic that has not been addressed adequately. And we need to talk more and know more about non-esterified non free fatty acids, NEFA, as a fuel source, as a vital building block for the human body. Hmm... I hope this makes you think. If you're interested in understanding more how to make your body function better based upon how and what you eat, give us a shout, 561-517-0642. But please, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. That's how uh, YouTube values these uh, talks that we do. Hit the like button, and if you're compelled to, make a comment. We love the comments. Good, bad, or trolls. In fact, I love my trolls because they keep me honest. Take care.